him, who, those who think that the issue of betrayal comes to play, and also uh, not looking at the competence of a, a, a Professor Shibaju as a person. Nobody has doubted the competence of Professor Sibanjo. He's a very humble, competent, cerebral person. But we believe that in terms of intellect, capacity, reach, and the ability to move this nation forward, and most importantly, for us to win the upcoming election, the best candidate that the APC has is Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu. With the name recognition, mind you, the dynamics has changed with the emergence of Atiku, Vice President Atiku Abubakar as the candidate of the PDP. We need someone who can match and even overshadow him in terms of brand name recognition, in terms of intellect, in terms of capacity, even in terms of indipatricability. So this is why we are championing the cause of Ashwaju Ola Ahmed Tinubu. He's not best among equals. He's the best amongst his mentees. You think he's the best? Yeah. Certainly. So you best. mentioned Atiku Abubakar. Yes, sir. And you said that that dynamics has changed things. Yes. Uh, for those who say, I'm a Lawan from the same Northeast as Atiku Abubakar. Is there an if? I mean, does that make the race even in that sense? Well, my own position is very simple. APC was formed by a merger of so many interests. The ACN, the ANPP, the CPC, the ABGA, ABGA, and of course the new NPN. And in a multi-ethnic, multi-religious polity like ours, we have to be sensitive and conscious of the diversity of the nation. I'm in Lawan. He's my kinsman. He's my brother. And he holds me in the highest esteem. And I played a very prominent role in his emergence as the president of the Senate against my own kinsman, Mohamed Alindume. But leadership goes beyond sentiments. He has spent 20 years in the Senate, in the legislature. He's a, he has a PhD in geography. He had spent a stint in the academia before joining the political industry. Does he have the administrative skill set to rule a complex nation like Nigeria? This is a million dollar question, and most importantly, sir, Can he also stand shoulder to shoulder with Anatiku Abubakar? He can't. You think so? I, that's the fact. You know, he's a peace amongst equals. Let's not delude ourselves. He became a senator with 144,000 votes. I became a senator with both two and a half times that he garnered in Yobe. No. Go to Ohiapia or Izochuku and ask for Ahmed Lawan. The first name that will come to their mind is that of the tomato dealer who is bringing tomato from Medubri. Go to any other part of the South. Does the brand name sells? So you think Tunubu is a name that sells? Tunubu is the best person. We, we don't even have any option. What about Oshibanjo? Does the name sell? The VP? Oshibanjo is a good man. He's a nice man. But nice men do not make good leaders. Because nice men tend to be nasty. Nice men should be selling popcorn, ice cream, and balabobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobob
my governor is not a prisoner of power. He has been approached not to be a running mate of Sibanjo or any other person, but go the whole hog of picking the ticket as a northern candidate. He refused. Because there are some political jobbers in this country who are hell-bent on plunging this country. You know, the trajectory of global growth is facing Africa. And Nigeria will make or mar that transition. And getting the leadership question right is absolutely essential. Mm. And where the leader held from is not the issue. I just cited the instance of the chief of army staff. We had the chief of army staff from my own state. But our security situation deteriorated further under his stewardship. The president chief of defense staff is an Ika man. The president chief of staff is from Sokoto. But our security fortune has improved tremendously. All right. so, so I'm not particular about the North East or Ahmed Lawan, but I'm particular about justice, mm. equity, and pianists. Okay. Uh, Your Excellency, I have just about 60 seconds or less to, to close the program, but I have two crucial questions. Yes. Although you did not answer the question of whether or not, for Zulu, uh, the reason we are on, why... We are, we are on the same page, I can assure you. Is it supporting you. Bola Tinubu too? Certainly. Okay. We are on the same page. All right. So the delegates from Borno are voting for Bola Tinubu? Certainly. All right. So... Uh, on a final note, in one part, uh, quickly, if you can let Nigerians know, if Bola Tinubu does not get the ticket, what happens? He's going to get the ticket. What if he doesn't get it? If it's a game of numbers, he's going to get it. What if, I mean, the president has asked for a chance of reciprocity that he should choose who, is, who succeeds him. What if the president does not pick him? You know, people tend to underrate the depth of the relationship between the president and uh, our candidate. Their relationship precedes 2015-2014. And the president is a man of conscience who holds Ashwa Jutinibu in the highest esteem. If at all, President Buhari, a man of conscience, a god fearing man, will anoint any candidate. That candidate has to be Bola Tinibu. It has to be, but if it doesn't be, it if it doesn't be, get idea Tinibu, to say, doesn't, this is politics. But what I am saying is that. The president being a Democrat, in a worst-case scenario, mm -hmm. anointing a candidate doesn't preclude candidates from going for the primary elections. So Tinubu will go for the primary yes, so the elections. He will never step down. The issue of stepping down does not arise. But if the president... the elephant in the room. How do you expect an elephant to step down for, for, for Lilliputians? So certainly, <laughs> on a more serious note, the issue of stepping down are just mere speculations. And okay. most importantly, even the issue of anointment. The president's special advisor on media came out and disputed. When I was leaving the scene, naturally I had an interest. I anointed Professor Zulum. But other contestants, Idris Durkwa, Omar Nasko, Gambolawan, contested with him at the primaries and he won. So in the same vein, the president is at liberty to endorse Bola Tinibu. But Bola Tinebu will still go into contest with those that are willing to slog it out with him. Senator Kashim Shatima, a sitting senator of Bruno State in the National.